Hello everyone and welcome back to Cookery Wizardry. This is your host Michael and today we're going to be making red potato veggie burgers. First thing we're going to need, some good old red potatoes. I'm going to put them inside the strainer to clean them first. And we'll go ahead and move towards the sink. Oh, getting nice and cleaned off, rinsed. And we're just going to chop them in little pieces, skin intact. Don't need to be too small because we're going to mash it up at the end. So I'll just load them up inside this bowl for now. Almost forgot, we want to go ahead and uh, set our stove to high our high heat setting. And we're going to go ahead and put some salt in. And we're going to prep that for boil. All right, so let's finish chopping these up. All right, now we're at a boil. Let's go ahead and get these potatoes in. Now if you're a dummy like me and put too much water in, get a ladle or a big spoon. You carefully balance over towards the sink ladle some water out. I'm going to throw in about a cup's worth of carrot, chopped carrots. And like I said, I'm just using frozen carrots for mine. All right, now we're waiting for the potatoes to cook. We're going to get some cilantro and we're going to get some seasoning. So we have some cloves, some garlic powder, some onion powder, some cumin, some fenugreek, and some cardamom. If you do want your um, burgers a little bit spicy, get some paprika and some chili powder. Going to go ahead and uh, pick some cilantro here. Okay, and we're done with the uh, cilantro chopping here. So let's move that to the side. And we're gonna get some extra ingredients here. Our measuring implements and a bowl. All right, so we're gonna start out with one cup of breadcrumbs. Get about a half teaspoon of cardamom, a couple, uh, or about a teaspoon of fenugreek, half teaspoon of cumin, a couple teaspoons of onion powder. Actually, let's make that three. I want some good onion flavor in here. And about a quarter teaspoon of cloves. And of course, can't get enough garlic here. I get about two teaspoons or two teaspoons of that. Get a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And about a half teaspoon of our chipotle chili powder. And of course, just a fair bit of black pepper. And just a bit of salt to finish it off. We're just about ready to go here. Let's go. I'm gonna go check up on our. Um, Potatoes. Looks like they're boiling good. Oh yeah, they're nice and soft. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, strain and drain. Try to get some extra moisture out. We'll put it back in our original bowl. And there we go. Okay, so we got these ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, smash up our potatoes, as you see here. Once we get those mashed up, we're gonna add some chickpeas to that. Just a can. Well drained, of course. In fact, I'm gonna do that and let that drain out while we're mashing these. Oh, and also forgot a uh, another crucial ingredient here. Good old half teaspoon of turmeric sauce, or not sauce, powder. Add that in there. Let's add in our chickpeas. Mash those up too. Okay, so we're gonna mix in our cilantro. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in our seasonings here. All right, so there we have it. There's. Got most of it done here. Now we just need to lay it into freezer paper. Just get some freezer paper and on the waxies. And yeah, just make a little patty on it. It's gonna crush so you can make it thick. That's one down. Then stick a uh, piece on top of it. All right, now you wanna put them all inside of a gallon bag. I usually recommend storing about nine Mac tops in these bags. All right, so now we want to go ahead and load these up in the freezer. And we're going to leave them in there overnight. And then tomorrow, we'll go ahead and have ourselves some veggie burgers. All right, folks, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. And hey, consider subscribing to the channel here. It really helps me out. And also, uh, check out some of our previous videos here, and as well as some of our social media and all sorts of good stuff. You wanna keep up to date with my videos here and uh, you have a good day.